Good evening, good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Lawrence vs. Factorio Angel Bobs. Um, so, as you may or may not remember from the previous episode, I got horribly killed by um, a swarm of biters trying to find a new coal mine for my uh, for myself. And it seems that even even with that extra mine, I'm not I'm not producing enough coal for the um, for the base. So let's see what's it, what's that train up to? How full is it? It's about a third full. I think I'm gonna have to have it run through anyway because I don't want to. After all the effort I went through, oops, climbed on the conveyor belt. Right. Um, after all the effort I went through in the last episode, I don't want to run out of power again because that was quite frustrating. Uh, I hope this. Surely this this one train. I mean, I can't be using that much coal, can I, for power? Surely this one train running back and forth must be enough to to keep everything ticking over. <sighs> have to admit I, I'm not sure I guess we'll we'll find out over the over the rest of this episode so what else was I doing oh yes yeah, so I was it was trying to take out this um this biter nest up here that's what that's what did me in in the end they um a large bite and a couple of large biters spawned and it takes so long to take them out with the normal um non-armor piercing ammunition that I ended up just getting destroyed by that by that but by that one biter and um yeah and that was the end of it so Right, well, I guess the next thing to do is to hop in this train over here as it gets emptied, head back up there, I'll get all the stuff off my corpse and um, hopefully that should put me in a suitable position to carry on. I'm going to need a new car, that's something else I should work on. Oh, this is so slow to unload with a shortage of power? Yes, shortage of power, that's why it's so slow to unload. <sighs> and of course, because I'm using the, um, the, sing the normal basic inserters, they're very, very slow as well. Um, is there anything I can do to speed this up? I can't. I can't build better inserters. Those ones need me to get bronze up and running, which is on the to-do list. But that's going to require things like power production to be a bit more to be properly stabilised first, and that requires this. I think this area to be um, made safe. So for now, well, I think probably the sensible thing to do for now will be to build this wall across to here and just get those guys outside build this wall across to here and then down to here somewhere because that'll keep them they'll they'll be outside the um the protected zone at that point and i can also then think about running god where's my nearest ammo belt must be one in yeah there's one here maybe run that round across to here that's quite a long way and then up here and all the way around just to get, to get this area sort of this whole area made safe because I'm, I'm I'm fully aware that these well these turrets are all mostly out of ammunition already. If another large biter gets spawned in over here, I'm going to be this this area is going to be in trouble. And I think another thing I'm going to have to do is start getting proper ammunition. So move on to the armor piercing ammunition because the the level one ammunition is just not not cutting it at the moment. As we as we found out over here, I need to move on to armor piercing ammunition to have any chance against these biters. So, okay, how's this train doing now? It's mostly emptied. It's taking a little while to do this. Have we got power up and running again everywhere? Yes, these are all these are all fully fueled now. This is starting to make its way around here. I hope there's enough coal in this to keep it running for a bit. And once these are empty, well, these these chests are filling up a little bit. We shall. It's not really going to keep it running for long, but I'm hoping that this will. Once I've got, once I've produced enough coal from the new mine, this will all start to back up again, and we'll have, we'll get, pe we'll, we'll be past the the coal production problems that we're having. So we'll see. Ah, my train's on the move. There we go. Right, dead body is up here somewhere. Yes, there we go. Let's take everything out of there and not get run over by the train. Okay, so I've got a reasonable amount of walls, reasonable amount of turrets. That's enough to to build, hopefully, to build the stuff I was just talking about, and then. Or maybe I should use no. I think probably I should use the belt, use the belts first, and extend this ammo belt all the way around here and up here, and start building the whole thing in one go. Because there's no point in putting walls up if they're not defended, because the biters will just come along and chew through them. There's going to be quite a lot of building in this episode, I can tell. So it might not be the most exciting episode. We'll see. Um, hopefully there'll be enough going on that once I speed up the less exciting parts, so just the sort of the the endless construction. That it'll make the whole thing reasonably, reasonably exciting and and worth watching. Or you know, I could just go around the pond. There we go. Actually, let's bring that across here. 
I should probably go around this crotinium patch as well, just in case at some point in the future I decide I want to dig it all up. And yeah, belts can be moved, of course, but it's easier if you get them in the right place to start with. I don't think the same goes for the stereotype patch, because I've got... Stereotype? Stereotype, yes. Because I've got enough copper already, coming from everything else. Okay, so this is probably far enough out. If I bring it a little bit further, then later it'll make it easier to bring it all the way up here and get this Jeevalite and this Stereotite as well, should I want them. So perhaps just past the end of this cliff face here. Looks like it's working. Alright. I'm going to need to bring radar out here quite soon as well. Oh, no splitters. I guess I'll just have to make them by hand for now. Oh, out of belts. Expansion is very, very expensive in, in raw materials. So let's see, along here we'll have... That'll go about there. Wall will then go about there. See if we've got enough of these to uh, finish off the first line of defence. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to build... Um, I'm going to get some more belts. I'm going to build myself a new car. And we can go from there. I should probably think about radars as well, actually. Let's have a look. Can I build radars? I can. I can make two of them. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, if I stick one on this corner, it's probably going to pick up this whole area. To be honest, that one isn't in the best of positions, given where I'm building everything else. It should be over here on this side, and then have another one over here, but... Oh well, I'll deal with that later. That's not a good sign. I don't want to be out of power again already. So that coal, I... Yeah. Coal is obviously already gone, because I'm basically out of power everywhere. That probably means I... Can I select this train? I can. It's two-thirds full this time, so that's better. Okay, so maybe if the first time it was a third full, the second time it was two-thirds full, maybe the third time it'll get all the way up to full before it becomes a problem. Uh, more belts. 800. Good. Should I get more walls? I don't know. I should definitely get more iron, and I'm going because I'm going to need a lot of um, burner inserters. Oh, I've already got a lot of burner inserters. This might be excessive then. Let's get rid of some of these. <clears throat> I've got a decent number of turrets. Turret, turret, turret. Yeah, they're mostly they're mostly normal turrets as well, so that's good. And a car. Do I still have a yes? That's making engines, but only one of them so far. I need more steel. Steel is down here. Is that enough? I don't know how much steel engines take. Hopefully that'll be enough. Steel and oh yeah, cogs. Now of course that's not running because it's got no power. Where's the coal? I mean the train is here. The coal should be on its way through. No, the coal isn't on its way through because I don't have any coal to... I don't have any power to power the um, inserters. Right, now the base wakes up. This is a big problem. I can't go in and replace those burner inserters, that's just not realistic. They wouldn't be fast enough. They're probably not even fast enough to be used in an emergency. Maybe I should put um, another row of inserters on the other side, just so the whole thing runs much more quickly. That might be worth doing. Oh yeah, engines. Three. That's a car take. Eight. And some steel. Ooh, some engines. Are those... No, those are the ones I just picked. <laughs> Idiot. Um, I've got lots of trains. I could use those. <laughs> My box of shame is now up to three pistols. Lovely. <coughs> Ooh, one more. Come on. One more. And it's got enough um, cogs and stuff in there now. Hope that hopefully there'll be... Um, it'll build up another eight engines. So next time I come back around here needing a car, it'll be there for me. Or there'll be the engines there for me. That'd, that'd be nice. Oh, let's stick these in there as well. Oh, I've not got any grenades. Let's get some of that. I said some of that. There we go. And make some more grenades. And I can use it. Not... Oh. To start, I suppose. And they built it slowly. And I'm not even sure exactly where I want to have them. So let's fight my way through... Oh, dear. Right, so I was a bit out to the north. This wall actually isn't far enough up, looking at it. I'm going to need to move it anyway. I think I probably want to go north of this railway line, at least for now. So let's put the belt there, which means turrets go there. And I'm just putting in a ghost for now so they don't get eaten. And then I normally leave a space there, and then the wall goes here. That makes the uh, mine look extra safe, because it's got a wall within a wall. Right, and this area now needs to be grenaded clean, so, so I've got... Yes, like that. So I've got um, a wide enough gap to put the turrets and the belts and everything else that needs to go in here. So, grab a turret, turret, space, wall. Let's finish off the wall, like 
So, uh, gap, turret, turret, grabber, belt. Oop, got most of the trees I needed to get. Right, that looks complete. Now just the um, rather slow job of adding all the turrets. It's funny, you come up with these grand plans, you think, I know, I'll build a massive, um, I'll build a massive railway ring road round my entire base, so I can have all the trains on one single network and just control everything through LTN. and it'll be, it'll be amazing. It'll be, make everything so simple and straightforward and ev everything will just work perfectly. Then you go out to start building it and you realise that actually no, there's a lot of biter bases out there that are going to get in the way and make it difficult. And not only that, it's going to take ages to set everything up and wall it all off and so on. You're going to need more landfill than you expected, you're going to need more turrets than you expected. And in all that time, you're going to be running out of coal as well and nothing's going to be working. Your trains aren't going to be getting loaded, your trains aren't going to be getting unloaded. So, whilst in theory, it's a nice idea, just go out there, build all the stuff up. It'll work perfectly. What's, what, what's to worry about? No, in fact, in real life, there's so many extra things that just don't quite go as you, it goes intended. I need a lot of extra time and effort spent working them out. But then I suppose that's the um, the challenge and the enjoyment of a game like this. If it was all as easy as I'm suggesting, with just oh yeah, just draw a railway line across there and, and it'll be fine, then it wouldn't really be it wouldn't be so much fun. Although I suppose at that point it's a different game. At that, at that point it's something like OpenTTD rather than uh, Factorio. And that's that's fine. It's a completely different game. It's um, also good fun. But there, there, that has its own sort of set of things you need to worry about. So instead of worrying about the biters coming in and chewing everything or running out of one particular resource, instead you've got money to worry about. So it's, yeah, it's there's still, there's still different, different challenges. And in this game it's about getting about gaining territory and and keeping the territory and making sure it's um, pacified and reasonably friendly and you're not getting horrifically slaughtered by the enemies. Oops. Oh, and in open TTD you can get other people to deal with the trees. You just say, I want to put a railway line through here and somebody else comes through and chops everything down for you and builds all the railway line. Uh, there. That's the end. Ah. Right, so in theory that's everything defended now. Now in practice it's not quite so well defended as I might suggest because there seems to be a shortage of ammunition coming up this belt. Um, have I run out of iron or something or is it just being used up as fast as it comes? No, it's just being, it's just that it's not being produced quickly enough I think. Oh well, actually this is running out of iron very seriously. Yeesh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, okay, so that's next. the next thing on the list. I'm running out of iron so I need to make a saffron, no, sa yeah, sapphirite mine there and get all of that pulling down here as well which means I need to finish this railway off so I can have trains running both ways along it and probably pick up, put in another sapphirite drop off point around here somewhere and feed that round here into into this system of crushers and, and so on and so forth. At least the steel is currently keeping up. Maybe, ah, oh, that's something I could do. I could turn a um, no, not a thorium, not a critinium. Another, if I can find another jeevalite patch, like uh, yeah, that one, hmm, it's not in the best place. I could turn that patch into something that just produces ammunition and nothing else, because that produces iron and copper, and iron can be turned to steel, and then steel and copper can be turned into iron, then steel and copper can be turned into ammunition. So that might be the way forward. So that, oh, am I out of power again? Oh no! It nearly managed it this time, though. Look, the trains made it down there and everything. Let's go and have a look, see what's happened. There's another sapphire patch there, but that looks like quite a small one. Mm. I see. So the <laughs> yeah, the coal has got as far as the um, as this thing, and then stopped. Let's do that for now. I need to invent stack inserters. That's just all there is to it. And and they, I know they're diff going to be difficult, but difficult to make. But oh, and then I need all kinds of electronics stuff. Okay, let's start working on these. Uh, I don't mean electronics. I mean petrol like petro petroleum based stuff hmm oh don't drive into that yeah so this bringing coal in by train in theory is a wonderful idea but in practice it's having some issues I'm cautiously optimistic that the next train load will actually be sufficient to keep it keep everything running 
I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's problematic, shall we say. I should get some more grenades, actually. Oil processing. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, let's get some more grenades. Clear out that um, sapphirite stereotype. Sapphirite patch that I found. And get that mined. And then I can bring that down and feed it into the iron supply down here. <laughs> in order to make more grenades and, more and so on and so on. And more ammunition, specifically. Do I have some miners with me? No. At least not enough. Let's get some of those as well. I'm surprised, I'm surprised and slightly pleased with myself that I actually thought of that. Do I get some more belts as well? Because I'm going to need them for the mining. Uh, do I need more undergrounds? No, I've got a decent number of undergrounds. I really need to get those splitters, belt splitters going. Let's do that, actually. Okay, so making grey underground belts requires wood, stone, and transport belts. No, splitters, sorry. Splitters requires wood, gears, belts, and copper cables. Is this even going to fit? Where's iron? Do I have any iron? I have some iron. There's some iron. I'm going to have to bring that round. Uh, power pole. Yeah, there, sure. In there, there, there. So you're making that. <laughs> Right, let's give it some belts to start with. Wood. Not got wood. Uh, okay, let's remove that. I can't make yellow splitters like this. There is just isn't going to be room here, is there? No, and that's going to require um, circuit boards as well. Which are all the way a bit... Yeah, not a chance. I'm going to have to, at some point, redo my entire um, belt and so forth building system in order to get them in there. And that's going to be... Well, yeah, it's going to be fun, but what can you do? Needs to be, it'll need to be done. Um, for now, let's leave that alone. Once more iron starts coming through, it'll start working again. But till then, it's just going to have to have to sit there and wait like everything else. Right. Oh, miners. And let's put those Mark 1s in there to pretend to Mark 2s. 50? Yeah. Hopefully 52. Hopefully that'll be enough. I did leave the car up here somewhere. Yes, I did. Yeah, this patch is basically done done for now. It's got too small to pull it out fast enough. And there's only 23,000 left, and that's including the stuff down here. Which I'm probably not going to get. Because it's... Oop, no, that way. So I know I've been talking about LTN a lot. And I think I do need to implement that at some point. But at the moment, I think the trains don't load... Because I don't have stack inserters, it means the trains don't load quickly enough. So I can't, I can't use it. Because by the time a train, by the time a request comes out to a train to, to go and get some whatever it is, whether it's iron, steel, uh, iron, coal, whatever, by the time the request actually comes, it'll be a bit too late if the train then just has to bimble all the way up to the um, the supply station and stock up on it. I need it to be, I need it to be ready and have, and there to be a train full of the stuff already on its way to the um, to wherever it's needed before it's needed. So I think once I get, yes, sure, once I get stack inserters and so forth, then having um, LTN powered trains is going to be very useful because I can just have fewer trains and have them go out and grab things as, they're, as and when they're ready. But until then, I think I'm just going to go do it the old tradition, old fashioned traditional way and just have one train with each supply area and have them go out and take, bring the stuff across as it's ready and as it's required. Right, so because there's a thorium patch here right next to the um, uh, right, ne right next to the sapphirite patch, I'm going to build the station out to this side of it, so a bit more tree clearing, and that'll mean I can shove in the um, thorium mining on the other side without too much difficulty when I'm when I'm ready for it. Okay, so nice big space here for the station. Let's put these miners in. Hey, <laughs> I have to admit I didn't think uh, 50 was going to be enough. What? Well, why does it not put them in a nice, neat grid? There we go. The defences seem to be holding, so that's nice. Okay, so I need more mine, more miners, more rail, um, belts. Well, I haven't used the belts yet, so they're, they're clearly okay. Let's uh, head back and restock. And miners and rail are both built further down the base, so I'll come in, come in down here. There we go. There's miners. 20. That's presumably due to the lack of iron coming through. So basically until I <laughs> until I fix the problem, I can't fix the problem. 
Lovely. Take that up as well. Oop. That's going to take a little bit more fixing up because at the moment, yeah, this this rail needs to be set up as a proper loop system as well. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to start need to needing to think about signals. So there's still a fair bit of work to be done on that, but still, I can do this one. Start this one off properly. So a rail line coming along. All right, call it here, which joins onto this one. Like, yeah, that'll do. Another one here. See how far I get before I hit a tree. Oh, all the way. Excellent. And that joins there. Okay. And I haven't done the, the looping round the other in the other direction yet, but for the time being, anything that's coming along here is just going to be heading down to the uh, to the main base, so that's fine. Up here I need a station. I need to have enough of a gap to do any sort of I need enough of a gap to do any faffing with belts, like well, basically this this nonsense here. Um, so I want to be able to do that in here. So about, yeah, about that much space should should suffice, I think. Um, I'm not going to put this station at the bottom. I suppose I could, actually. It doesn't make a lot of difference. There we go. And this is going to come from this direction. Like that. And then get back out in this direction. So I'm going to have chopped down all these trees. Oh, I'm on map view. There, just like that. And I'll need another train stop. One, two, three, four, five. So it's still five outputs. That's sort of convenient. Um, so I can put that on that. Can I make another one? Yes. Good. Oh no, my trains run out of fuel already. <laughs> Do I have any coal? I don't have any coal. The train has some coal. I should probably get the train fueled up, to be honest. That should be part of the... Um, should be automatic, really, shouldn't it? How's my power doing? That's still okay. How's the how's the coal supply down here? It's okay. It's got to the um, oh six thousand in the um, in the warehouse. That's pretty good. Now this train is obviously going to run back and forth as fast as it can until the warehouse is full. But that's that's good. That just build, means I build up a buffer, and hopefully it's going to be a good while before I have another um, another coal crisis. In the meantime, I still want to get this up and running so I can get more iron into the base. All right. I haven't put those chests in yet, have I? Those are still ghosts. Right. Power. Right. That should be that mine up and running now. I don't think I need another um, radar for it. No, because it's still covered by that one up there. Although I might want to put one in anyway. Excellent. Right. Now I put in a train. <laughs> and then I run around putting signals in before they drive into each other. I also need to worry about fueling my trains. Um, the coal one, it's pretty much trivial. I'll just, and in fact I should have done it when I built the mine. I just pull a, um, a belt off one of the coal mines up here and have it feed directly into the, um, into the locomotives. Simple. Okay, so now every time the train pulls in here it'll get refueled. Simple. The, um, the other ones are going to be a bit trickier. What I'll probably end up doing is refueling them when they're at the, um, the other end, when they're in the base. Because there's always going to be, in theory at least, there's always going to be coal in the base. And if they get refilled at that end, then it makes it straightforward to start putting better fuel in them when I, when I get better fuel. So once I get solid fuel, nuclear fuel, that sort of thing, it's going to be relatively straightforward to upgrade all of the um, trains to start using the better fuels. Because they'll all be filled up from more or less the same place. Still nothing in these turrets. That's, that's worrying. I, I mean, I... I know, I know, it's because the, um, the there's no iron to make ammunition from, but still. There we go, that wall's not needed anymore. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I don't... Now, I'm going to go down and fiddle the other end of this before I start come up here and break this end, because I don't want my trains... I don't want my coal train to not be able to get through, because then the base will just starve again, and then I'll be sad. Where's that car? There it is. Is there a better way down? Maybe around here. Oop, walls. Okay, so this railway line in is okay. The right is on the wrong side of the of the lines. Um, this is a mess because of the cliffs, but I think I'm probably just going to deal with that for now. Maybe I'll bring this one round on this no round under this one. <laughs> Gonna say it. This one. There we go. Round like this. Right. 
can't see. Let's get a bit closer. There we go. Pull this out now. And this one should be coming off here. Like that. Oh, ah, no. That worries me. I don't want them to be quite that close together just in case it causes problems. There we go. Now, is the other end okay for that? Probably not. Here. No. This needs to go across there. Up to there. And not have that one. Okay. Good. Sig so, what do I need for signals now? I need electronics boards and iron plates. Let's go get some electronics boards. Good. That train's still working, at least for the for running up the uh, up the base. Whoop. Oh, that was something else I needed to fix. The um, lead production belt problem up here. There we go. Get rid of all that crushed stone, and lead will never be a problem again. Well, <laughs> not for a not probably not until I've moved off onto a bigger base anyway. Still a lot of it in there. Yeah. Okay, I don't think lead was actually a problem here anyway, but uh, it's good to keep it that way. Let's go and grab those by hand. Like this. Nom 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 nom. And signals. Any more? Mine? Nine. <laughs> okay, so to start with, let's signal this area off properly. Because I don't want the um, lead train, the Rubite train even, to stop working just because I started producing signals in further up. So let's go down and see what I've done here. Okay, it's coming in correctly. Oop, there it goes. But not so much going out correctly. So we'll start down here. Coming along here. Go that way. And that. And yeah, that feels right. They're all all the blocks are split up, and I'm pretty sure I've got the chain signals in the right places. Let's now nip down along here. Oop, there are so many trees. Now, in theory, I should have a signal every train length along here, just to keep the trains flowing nicely. I'm, I'm not going to bother with that for now, because I haven't built enough signals, and there's only one train in this whole area. So I'll just nip along here and make sure that... Okay, yeah, this is this is what I <laughs> need to make sure of. So that train, yeah, it can go along there, but in order to get back, it needs to come, a lot, come up like that. Um, I'm going to... Ex these rails I think just because having them end like that looks wrong and makes my brain hurt so like that and like that so this is now clearly just a little junction off it oh there's another load of stereotype here I could pull that up as well um, I'm definitely gonna need to get the signals and everything running a bit better for that to work out nicely though is that an, in fact is that another patch of it just below the road just outside it is 11 million Wow that'll keep me going for ages how big is this one that's 6.7, oh, that's not bad. Okay, well, we'll I'll get this one going since I've already half built it, and it's closer as well, so it's going to get... The the, um, the train journeys won't be quite as long. But then I'll get... Um, yeah, then I can think about possibly that one. To be honest, I probably won't do that one. I'll probably just go straight for this one, because it's so much bigger. It is rather close to rather a lot of biters, though. I think I do kind of want to have better weaponry for dealing with them first, although there aren't any large ones in that base, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but then there's more along here as well. There's a lot of sapphire around. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Coal is 4 million. That's going to be okay for a while yet. And there's another 6 there. Another 9 there. So I think by the time I start wanting more coal, I'm going to have expanded out past most of these. So that should be alright. I guess we'll just see how it goes. I didn't signal that. Do I need to signal? I probably should signal that. Okay, so the signals we have. Um, if you're going into a junction you have a chain signal uh, if you're going into a junction you have a chain signal if you're in a junction you have a chain signal and then on the way out of the junction you have a normal signal there we go I think that's alright I'll try and remember to have a look back at that in a little while and see if the trains manage to escape and get back in again <laughs> as long as it can do that then it's probably alright I should lay stone bricks all the way along all of these just to make the um, commuting a bit quicker but then that encourages me to drive along between the railway lines is that a good idea? I'm not quite sure. So this is all signalled up. Good. Yeah, this is why I don't want to have, don't want, to, actually don't want to have a road up running between the railway lines because I keep putting um, pylons there, <laughs> and it seems like a very good place to put a pylon, except that if I start driving up and uh, along them, I'm just going to smack into them all. Uh, have I used up all my? Si no. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Chain signals. Um, so coming in like that, coming out like that. And I should probably put one there, but it doesn't matter too much. So that goes there, there, there. 
Okay. Have I run out of things for making chain signals? Yes. Iron. Ooh. 12k. Yeah, that's that's going up nice and quickly. That's good. Give me some iron. Yeah. And, okay. Another nine chain signals. Will that be enough? I'm not really sure. I can't quite put together in my head, off the top, off the top of my head, how many um, chain signals I'm going to need for this sort of thing. Let's get some more iron. That's going to be enough, I'm sure. I should probably explain how signals work for anyone who isn't um, familiar with them. So there are two two main types of signals. You've got normal signals and chain signals. Normal signals will prevent any train from passing if there's another train in the block. And as you can see, all the rails are split up into blocks. <coughs> um, so here we've got this blue block here. We've got a red block down here. And because I haven't put all the signals in yet, these are kind of joined. So. They'll, so a signal will always be read to prevent an additional train going into any block that, is, that, there's already, that has already got a train in it. it. So, in theory, if you have signals around all of your junctions like this, then there's no way two of your trains can ever collide, because they can never be in the same block. Uh, chain signals will say you can only go past them into a block if you've got a, a safe way out of the block. So this one, will, um, if you're trying to go this way, will let you in as long as this one is green. So if this one's green, then this one will be green too as far as that train's concerned, so it can go straight around there. Alternatively, if you're going this way, it'll check that one. That's another chain signal, so it'll check that one. And that way, and if you're trying to go this way, you'll only get a green here if it's green all the way through, so you can go out this way. So that means you can prevent you can prevent a train getting stopped right in the middle of a junction. Uh, so if a train's coming up here trying to go around this way, but there's another train over here, this tra the train coming up here would stop here meaning another train coming down from the coal mine could carry on straight through here and carry on further down. And that's basically it. Anything beyond that is just sort of trying to come up with more complicated ways of using the two signals together. If that didn't help and you need a better explanation, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll try and provide one. God, that's used up already. That's quick. I suppose I do expect the edge ones to have very little um, ore available. This train is, has no fuel in it whatsoever. Let's give it some wood. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so this gets back to what I was saying earlier about fueling trains up at the um, in the base. Right, so let's get rid of some of the ghosts actually. Um, so what I've done there, I've now got that stereotype train filling up quite happily. It's ready to go as soon as I've got somewhere for it to go to. So what I need for that is I need another station like this that will feed the ore down here into this processing facility down here and this one here so that feeds that side this one feeds this side okay now I should probably consider actually setting up another system like this one where I've got a massive area available for smelters rather than trying to cram it all in up here and use what I've already got and then feed the ore up the other way the question is with my iron production failing the way it is at the moment am I going to have enough belts and everything else to build up something like this or am I just going to get am I going to get started and then realize I just haven't got the resources for it I'm not sure um, <laughs> I think probably the sensible thing to do sadly is going to be to build another state little station here for dropping off the eye of the uh, stereotype spaghettiing it through to here and feeding these these crushers and these crushers and then once that's going build up a better ver another one like this maybe maybe not even like this maybe i should look into smelting and stuff as well is this smelting is this furnace i don't know using the um ingots and all that other stuff so if i look in here so iron plates are the things i want in the end and this is the obviously this is what i've been doing so far that's the that's the easy mode if you will or i can try and generate iron ore um which gets me iron plates as well or sheets apparently or molten iron now I haven't actually developed this <laughs> advanced iron smelting yet, but so I possibly I need to have a look at the numbers on this because iron ore presumably comes from um, stereotype and jeevalite, all right, sapphirite and jeevalite that makes more sense, or from okay so from crushed sapphirite I can make iron ore and copper ore. What's getting destroyed? Oh okay, just just some walls. Um, oh some turrets being damaged as well though. Where's where? Oh, oh is it all there? Yeah okay. That's, that's these uh, large biters again that I was talking about, I was complaining about, um, that I don't really have a good way of dealing with yet, apart from sheer overwhelming numbers of turrets, and they're starting to... 
the sheer overwhelming number of turrets is not quite sheer and overwhelming enough anymore. Okay, so sapphirite can be used to produce slag iron and oh, copper ore. So this is another way of making copper, which, I don't know, it was balancing that in the in, with the jeevalite was a bit of a pain. Or it can be exactly the same thing with jeevalite. That's interesting. So if I'm using this recipe, jeevalite and sapphirite are effect functionally identical. Stereotite is the other way around. Crotinium is also the other way around. Mineral sludge, I'm not really ready for that yet. Sapphirite chunks, uh... I don't know. I was getting a lot of stuff out of that. I don't really want to produce. I don't want to produce that many uh, that many byproducts. Uh, that's exciting because titanium in there. But again, I don't want all of the unsink. I, I just don't want all of this stuff at this point in the game. I'm just getting into the more and more complicated parts of the um, the recipes now. This I think. Okay. So there doesn't seem to be a good way via ore unless I go through the jeevalite way, and that produces massive amounts of copper that I'm just not using. Um, what about this one though? Molten iron comes from iron ingots, comes from iron ore. Okay, so I need the iron ore again for that. At some point, probably off camera, I'm going to—I'll do the numbers on this and see if I'm, I actually get noticeably more iron out if I do all of the um, all of the funky sorting and that sort of stuff. But for, for the time being, it looks like it's probably not worth doing anything more than just the um, the crushing and the smelting. So down here, I could I could build up another one of these crushing smelting exactly the same as this but for the um for the sapphirite that seems like a um a reasonable idea so i think yes first plan is to get this is to get the sapphirite coming in over here as, again um because i've already got all of the infrastructure up to, to support all of that now, i don't probably don't need a huge amount two belts down will certainly be enough and that's easy enough to spaghetti through particularly as i don't need any of this um rubite stuff anymore so that'll get me back to the place where I was before, and then I can start thinking about having a bigger facility for dealing with it afterwards. Okay, so that means I'm in about the right place, <laughs> after all that. But I do want a bit more space down here. Okay, so, no, too far. Ow, that was closer than I realised. <laughs> now I need to get this back up here and join it onto that other line to get it back out going and going back up. <laughs> oh, I suppose the alternative to this actually would be to come up here, pull in next to this one, and unload on the other side. No, I'm gonna. I want to unload the the um the coal on the other side as well. So I, w I won't do that. Can't get through there. Part of me thinks it's nice to leave the um the trees and things. Ah, oh, good. That train has got out. That is, is all working. Um, yeah. Part of me thinks it's quite nice to leave the trees and the rocks and things around because it makes the place look a bit more natural. But then. On the other hand, it just means I keep driving into the damn things. Oops. Speaking of driving into things. Uh, must remember to repair that before I try and drive anywhere else. Right, so that needs to go across there, then across there like that. <laughs> That's horrible, but never mind. And then I need signals to stop trains having incidents, should we say. Uh, what? Have I messed up my signals? No, I don't think I have. Why couldn't I? Oh, now I can put it down. One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> it's not long enough. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just have to do something slightly different. I suppose since I'm determined for this to just be temporary, and then I'll go off and build up a proper iron system later, it's not going to hurt having it next, right next to the coal unloading area. So, like that, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Might have inserters. Let's get some more inserters. They're not too far away, are they? He says, hopefully. There we go, inserters. As I was discussing earlier, I also want to have some system for making sure I don't run out of fuel in my trains. So the way I'm going to do this is like this, nice and simple. Just have this coal belt snaking around between them, loading all the uh, locomotives up. Right, um, I think, looking at that one, that means they go up like this. I hope this game is symmetrical. And then some sort of lazy merge like this, and I've run out of splitters again. Okay, now I need to wind these down to here. Is there a nice... Is there a nice way to do it? Probably not. I didn't make this simple, did I? Right, so I could, I could bring it down here, and then across here, or maybe better bring it across the top and then down here. That might be slightly easier. Let's tidy up this um, rubite facility. It's just 
quite simply not being used anymore. Uh, what rubbish am I carrying around with me? Sapphirite. What's, oh, this must have been crushed stone. Definitely don't need that anymore. That's quite a lot of space now, right in the middle of the um, base. Oop, what about just... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Bobmonium goes in. What does Bobmonium go in there? Okay. Okay, I guess I'll leave that part in because it's still being used. <laughs> uh, let's tell it to, that to prioritise the, the left input though, so we get through it a bit as quickly as possible. Which will be... Um, is that ever going to get used? No, because it's going to be using from the other side first. Um, okay. Oh, not a lot to do about that. Never mind. It's tidied up mostly out, mostly out of out of sight, out of mind. So I'll um, not worry about that for now. What I am going to still carry on worrying about is the belts that are coming down. Oh, <laughs> pelts coming down here, which are going to be carrying belts apparently. Um, this, of course, has to be linked with a splitter. And um, in the interest of just using everything up, I'm going to use from everything from there first. Okay. Oh look, a little bit of rubite. 90. That's not too too shabby an amount, actually. Oh well, I must have just missed that with all my, all my miners. Oh, for goodness sake. These cliffs are ridiculously frustrating. <laughs> oh, oh no, they've taken out a turret now. What? They're outranging my turret. No, it's out of ammo. Oh no. Oh, uh, crap, 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 crap. Um, I think it's probably more important to carry on dealing with this. I'm honestly not quite sure. Oh, it's a short one. It's fine. Uh, power. Okay. There. Uh, that. That's the other, that'll be the other turret going. Um, okay, that I think is now ready. Let's... Oh no, I need signals. Signals, 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 signals. Because otherwise I'll never be able to get trained in both stations at the same time. Um, it's still not I ideal because the uh, two trains will be sharing a... Um, sharing lines and not having an enormous amount of space to play with, so they'll they'll have to wait until the other train practically gets to the station, I suspect. But for now, that will do. Let's get up there and save the day again. Then I can set that other train going. And I think that'd be a good time to call it an episode. I've been playing for an hour and forty now apparently. Um which is quite a long time. Oh it's over here. Granted it's been a fairly sparse hour and forty. There's been a lot of just it was even a the tiniest of splitters. And yet it managed to take out all these turrets because they ran out of ammunition. That's horrific. Um, let's give them some. I haven't got a huge amount, actually. Uh, okay, that looks complete again. This is... station is... No, it's not coal pickup. Don't call it that. That'll confuse everything. That's the problem with copy-pasting. It doesn't seem to change the names. Uh, what is this stuff? This is sapphirite. And sapphirite is dark blue. Yeah, about that sort of colour. It's got fuel, so go to sapphirite pickup until full, then presumably newbie edge until empty. Yeah, newbie edge should actually be called sapphirite drop. And yeah, let's make it the same colour about there. I forgot the row of boxes. Oh well, never mind. This is only supposed to be a temporary station anyway, so that's not a, not a big deal. I shall watch this until it gets to the um, to the crushes and so forth, and everything starts starts chugging through. Um, just because I want to make absolutely sure. Do, 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 do. <sighs> That's a lot of purples. Or are we calling them pinks? I don't know. Oh dear, there's some more big ones spawned in over here. Uh, here we go. Iron production returning to full speed. Finally. At least it should be. Yep, we've got a decent full stream of it coming down here. You can tell because this one's n not going flat out. So between them they are making the, uh, the full stream. And the same over here. Yes, definitely. Phew! Right, okay, so that's iron production recovered and, and back to normal. Next step, as I said, is to, uh, of course, to scale it up so I get a lot more iron coming through. But, yeah, for now, I'm quite pleased with that. Is the train still unloading? It is. That, I suppose, is the... Um, yeah, because I don't have a, a warehouse or or these boxes on this train, it's just going to be unloading as as it gets used at the other end. But to be honest, as I said, with it being temporary, um, I think I'm, I'm okay with that. The um, the only problem is when this runs out and this train has to go back to get some more. I don't know how well this is going, how fast this is going through. Mm, yeah, pretty quick. Actually, there's the other side, so... Uh, I, d I don't know. It'll It's good, good enough for now, anyway. It'll, and and it, to be honest, if, if iron runs out, it's a problem. 
but it's not the same sort of level of problem as if coal runs out because if coal runs out everything shuts down and you can't get it going again without carrying stuff around by hand so yeah i think that's that's good i've got some signaling going on some of these um on, on some of the uh railway lines and i've got my second mine running up and running up here yeah i think i'm quite pleased with that for an episode so as usual thank you for watching i hope you'll join me in the next one i'm not sure what i'm going to do then um i might build a wall up across here just for the hell of it I, I don't know I'm not sure if it's worth it um I might try and step up oh yeah I'll get the um a proper iron smelting system going on down here and I might even try and get some of that turned into steel because while this jiva -like mine is producing steel quite nicely once I start um producing armor piercing ammunition that's going to get eaten up rather quickly and I'm not sure it's really going to be able to cope and to be honest it's it's never been that good anyway <laughs> it's not been <laughs> the the jiva -like mine hasn't been big enough if I'm being honest so yeah I think it could could be could be much better um, and there's some massive patches of sapphire down here so I might use might end up using those and then I don't have to worry about balancing the uh, the, uh, uh, the copper as well so I think that sh that should help quite a lot um yeah I think that's that's a good point to call it again thank you for watching see you next time